Hey there, everybody. Welcome to our American Idol review. The third audition episode of the season is yep. here. It's a very special American Idol review. If you can't tell, this is Jess's birthday. It's my birthday! We did a video earlier where we showed off some of her gifts. We had a good time. We talked a lot about things, you know, stuff that she's really into, what this birthday means. We, we really want you guys to check that out. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, that, that was a lot of fun. We don't really do a lot of that here at the channel. Uh, so yeah, check it out. Also, thank you to everybody who has subscribed to us. We just hit 45,000 no. subscribers and we really appreciate everybody who has. This episode of Idol is so weird and like <laughs> I got really excited about certain people. Maybe it's just because I'm on like the uh, your birthday high and I'm just like in a really good mood or whatever because like there were I think two like really really legit contenders and then there's like one person who I think is pretty good and then we have a bunch of people who are just did there's something there but I just can't figure out if they're gonna make it or not. It felt like there was a lot of nervousness tonight on the show or just people that weren't really believing in themselves and sort of being able to give it their all. It felt like there was there was a lot of contestants that were almost there, but just not there. Let's start. OK, my, my, in my opinion, the best person on the night is Alana Sophia. Like, I, I think she is legit really, really good. Her with her little toy American <laughs> Idol microphone. So cute. And I mean, her mom is also so cute. She reminds me a lot of my mom. I mean, my mom also sacrificed a lot for me to be able to do what I wanted to do when I was younger as well. I was a filmmaker and she sacrificed a lot to allow me to do that. And seeing that story, I was just like, oh man, I really wanted Alanis to get through. Also, I love Alanis Morissette too. I mean, who yeah. doesn't? She's so great. Anytime Also someone, Canadian. Yeah. Uh, hey, there you go. See, this this was set up for you to be an audition you would really like. Oh, yeah, I really liked it. If you were going to sing Demi Lovato, you better be able to have some range. Oh, yeah. Like, she is really good at not just <laughs> yeah. having, like, the biggest voice imaginable, but being able to, like, actually, like, draw emotion out of you. It's so, like, the more and more she sang, like, the better she got. Yep. Like, I don't hear that all the time like sometimes if you get off to a really good start maybe you start like slipping a little bit because it's like i've already got this i can just sort of chill out she did not phone a single note in no she was really good i'm gonna be completely shocked if she is not top 10 yeah i mean for sure she's already got a little bit of a following she's been on some singing stuff already which mm -hmm. Totally fine. We already had Jason Warrior, who was on the floor earlier yeah. this season. Yeah, I know sometimes people watching can feel a little bit like, ah, oh, we want to find undiscovered talent. People have never been on anything before. But us, we don't care about yeah. that. We just think if you're a good singer and if you want to be on all the singing shows, that is fine. Go on all the singing shows. Go on some. Go on one. I'm just happy that we've had a chance to be able to see her. Guess what? She was undiscovered to me tonight. That's I right, did not me too. know her. No. And it's all going to be up to the voters anyway. Like, they'll figure out who they like and don't like. And I think they're going to like her. I think she's really good. Yeah, she's great. Okay, we also have to talk about Rhonda. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> her voice is crazy. It is magic. I loved it. it, it Rhonda, like, her story was powerful. Like, her voice was incredible. I, I, I incredible. mean, this isn't a situation where uh, Alanis is really, really good. But, I mean, Rhonda is right up there with her in my mind. Yeah. The... The thing is, I was oh you're gonna oh you're gonna sing Dream Girls okay this is this is just like <laughs> Demi Lovato this is a good luck performance yeah you better be good man was she ever good from the first note I, was I just, know <laughs> I didn't need to hear, I'm glad I heard more than that but I didn't need to hear more than that I was like okay you're through yeah no she was amazing she also felt like first note top ten I was just like there's no way that she's not gonna be in that top 10 or standing at the end. She's just, she is really incredible. And I just think people are really going to like her and get behind her. Like she's gone through so much and you know, she, she still seems really raw too. Like there's still yeah. like so much you can pull from her. Okay. This is, this is, I guess our third place singer of the night. 
Yeah, they really loved Hunter Metz, and he is good. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like he is not, because yeah. he is. But when you put him up against Alanis or Rhonda, it's it's just hard. Like, it was a hard night for everyone that wasn't Alanis <laughs> or Rhonda. Like, yeah. they were on another level. And here, here's the thing about Hunter. Like, personally, I'll have a little bit of a proclivity for him because of a band I like called Sleeping At Last. And he kind of sounds like the person from Sleeping At Last. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to kind of like you for... Your voice, this is sort of the kind of music I really like to listen to. Yeah. So I could see him doing well with that. But, and here's the big but, we always have the prototypical, you know, white dude with the guitar mm -hmm. who does really well. Yep. I don't know if Hunter's voice really falls into kind of what a lot of the white dudes with the guitars do on Idol. Yeah, no, it's true. His voice is very different than that. I'm, I, I'm a little concerned he's going to be too weird for some of the, you know, more mainstream idol people. Well, but, that's why I actually like him better <laughs> than most white dude with a guitar. Yeah, like, welcome welcome to our world, Hunter. We we will welcome you in. I will you get get some, like, weird instrumentation behind you. Like, go find a harpsichord or something and record something. I will be all in on you at that point. <laughs> I, 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 I like you, Hunter. You know, it's just... You got to have another, you got to bring it to the next level. I still, yeah. I believe in you. I think you'll do fairly well because, you, you know, you, you are at least reasonably in the archetype if you make it far yep. enough. Yep. I kind of like that they brought up the, oh, my sister works for Disney bit because that's like some inside baseball stuff that they like never talk about on any of these shows at all. It's true. That, yeah, it's been the rules. You can't have a conflict of interest. Yep. Okay. Well, okay, well, normally we only talk about a few people in our videos. Yeah. And really, we're really only talking about these three. Because for the most part, this night was really strange. It felt like there was a lot of people, like we said, sort of their nerves were getting to them. Or there was just so much riding on this that... We had a lot of interference coming in from the judges who did a really good job tonight sort of pulling people out of either their heads, their nervous hearts, whatever it was that was sort of weighing on them, like people like... Christian, who are, you know, she's a maid and she's just kind of like, oh man, my whole life is riding on this. Like, that's a lot of pressure where she's kind of like, oh man, like I can sing so well everywhere else. And then now here's my shot and it all gets really nervous. Yeah, this this may be my favorite night of just judges ever on, and I don't, I don't say that very much. Like, with most of these shows, I just complain about the judges or the yeah. coaches on The Voice or whatever. But I think they just did such a good job just you know, being there for the contestants, but not in, like, a pandering sort of way. Like, this drives me crazy with The Voice sometimes, where they will call someone amazing no matter what they do or how they do it. Yeah, that is my be in my bonnet with The Voice as well, is that, yeah, the coaches are always like, everybody's amazing, no matter what you've done, everything is amazing. There's no actual feedback to, to make somebody even better, take from their experience to get even better. It's just like, this is the best performance yet. You hear that a lot on the voice where tonight we had Katy Perry especially really like working with people like Erica or ETs which she went with someone who was sort of like that Viking guy yeah. that I that was from a couple of what was his name Anthony Skull I don't remember his name yeah that's the thing right it's like that he was so Viking that everything else just kind yeah. of got stripped away from him which was too bad because he had a great voice and Erica's got something too, but she is sort of hiding it under all this other stuff. And that was actually the part of this episode that I liked the most because Katie really did pull away all this sort of stuff she was using as a bit of a, a way to hide or not have confidence. And I mean, there's a lot of us out there that understand that and feel that or have gone through that part of our lives where we just don't feel like we can be ourselves and we hide behind other stuff. And it was cool to see her actually sort of pull that back. 
Because, I mean, she also sang one of my favorite songs, Valerie. I love yeah. that song so much. But she does feel like she's got, like, a really nice tone and a really nice sound. If she can just enunciate things, it will be so good. Like, I think she could be really good. I, I think Erica could be outstanding. And, I, and that, I'm going to call her Erica because I just feel like... The E.T. stuff, and it felt to me a lot like she'd gone through a lot right before the show. Mm -hmm. She really wanted to make an impression on people, and so she thought that, and maybe it was out of insecurity, maybe it was nerves, I don't know, that she needed to sort of put this on to get attention, to get on TV or whatever else. But she was, she's really good when you take that away. She does have a really interesting tone and just the yeah, way she does that katie spoke to her like i was almost more emotional watching this than any audition because it was just like watching someone have their walls broken down in real time on tv and it is just Kate, katie perry could could have like i don't know like a pop star therapy camp here to really help like this was some of the best advice I've ever heard on a show. Yeah, this episode in general for that, I mean, Luke was giving it, Lionel was giving it, Katie was really giving it tonight. There was a lot of just sort of stripping everything away and getting to the good stuff with each singer tonight. And it's something that you don't really see on a lot of talent shows. It's either yes, no, yeah. see you later, wild card act later, or if you're on The Voice, you are amazing. <laughs> Best I ever heard. My other, my, my favorite part of, one of my other favorite parts was when Christian, after she did her first thing, and she was obviously just nervous as all get out, the oh, yeah. judges, like, doing, like, the weird running back and forth across the stage and, like, waving at her. Yeah, and I think that that, it obviously helped. Yeah. I mean, she, I think it was her that had said that she had never auditioned for anything before in her life, that she's just a singer and, you know, she doesn't gig, she doesn't yeah. audition, she doesn't do anything. And now all of a sudden you're on American Idol stage. So not only are you auditioning, you're auditioning on TV, you're auditioning in front of three major singer stars. Like, it's a lot to go from just maybe having an audition to gig at the local bar to then have this as your first audition. So to have them kind of walking around just being like, hey, we're just part of them. We're just part of it with you instead of sitting behind, you know, the desk being like, we are judging you. I mean, it changed everything. It really brought a lot out in her. This is a crazy thought, but I'm going to go with it anyway here. Is it possible that because of everything that's going on with filming this year with you can't be close to anybody. You have to be very, very mindful. I almost feel like it's making the judges more sort of aware of every little thing, that they're like more on every single second. And they're being really, really creative. And despite the limitations, I, I'm i enjoying the process of Idol very much right now, even if this episode didn't have a lot of what I would say like blockbuster talent. Yeah, I think it's pushing the judges to be more critical and vocal and get more out of people. Cause there's a lot of, oh, you know, let me just, I love your story. Uh, let me give you a hug sort of thing. And you can get a lot out of physical touch and giving someone a hug or being a pat on the back, me like you're great or whatever it is. But now that they're forced to not do any of yeah. that and they have to actually use more of their words, they've actually been able to really mentor people in like a, a really short amount of time in this audition process. It's it's incredible. There's like three people tonight that we saw this happen with. Yeah, like who who knew we would be getting into the psychology of American Idol tonight, but it is it's really true. Yeah, it was a very different episode. Well, let, let's hear from you guys. You know, who did you like on American Idol? Who who impressed you and what do you think about the judges? approach with people like Graham, Christian, Erica. Share in the comments and if you did like this video, subscribe for more updates and if you can support us more, check out those links to the store, our Patreon, check out Jess's birthday video and we will see you here next time.